Hey guys, welcome to Neat Movie News. My name is Dean Thomas, and this is my review for Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. Now, this is a movie from really Lonely Island, the musical group. If you have any idea who they are, this movie is really from them, starring Andy Samberg as Connor For Real, a guy who's once part of a group known as the Style Boys, who has recently gone off on his own to become a solo artist. And that's where the movie goes. And I just say, I didn't know exactly what to expect walking into this movie. All I knew is the trailers made me laugh quite a bit, and I'm a fan of Lonely Island. So I, I was hoping that this, that the movie would make me laugh just as much as the trailer did. Now going in, I think it is important to note that, because it it's jarring if you're not ready for it, that the movie is obviously a spoof movie, but it's also like a mockumentary. This movie spoofs everything from the music industry, like, you know, going solo, you know, band breakups, ego, selling out, all of that stuff. But it also tells it in a mockumentary style, as in it's a documentary type movie. Just as we see so many documentaries about the music industry, this spoofs it by doing the exact same thing. And they have jokes about it being a documentary plenty of times throughout the movie. And so as far as an overall film and, you know, filmmaking, this really isn't a great movie because sometimes it's a little jarring and sometimes the pause in between jokes and transitions can be kind of awkward because it is a documentary so it can't cut to another thing real quick or anything like that. It's just like it ends. So that can be a little jarring at times and that's also because this movie is full of just skits. It's not necessarily one congruent story at all points. It's just a bunch of you know, little skits thrown in here and there. Now that all being said, those skits that they play, mo not all of them, but most of them made me laugh, and some of them made me laugh really hard. While I may say this movie isn't a great movie in terms of filmmaking, as far as entertainment goes, I laughed a lot during this movie. The characters are ridiculous, the situations are more ridiculous, but what also I found the funniest is the, the music, the songs, because if you're a fan of Lonely Island, you'll appreciate all the music in this movie because it's all meant to be funny. And it's all, it, this really is a bunch of skits and music videos, to be honest with you. That, that's what this movie is. The thing is, the skits are, were, to me, they were funny. And for me, the songs were also just as funny, if not more funny for the most part. Now, the final song that they're building up to, and that's the whole thing, was a little anticlimactic. It wasn't the big great song I was hoping it to be. It didn't even live up to some of the other songs in the movie per se. And that being said, the storyline is also very predictable. You know exactly where it's going for them. I mean, they, they don't try to hide it either. I mean, the point of this movie was not to create some giant surprise. So overall, guys, I would say that Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping is not a good movie as in terms of filmmaking or anything like that. But if you're just looking to go laugh and be entertained this movie I think is for you especially if you're a fan of Lonely Island the movie is also a hard R they didn't just use the R rating to throw f-bombs in there I mean they use this R rating to a great extent it is a hard R movie but I'm willing because of how funny this movie was and how much it entertained me I will give pop star never stop never stopping a 60 percent sometimes like I said the awkwardness between jokes and I'm not the biggest documentary style fan like how they're set up and presented so that took me out of it a little bit at times and also I think detracted from the joke telling at times. Well, it did enhance it at others. But for those reasons, I think that it brought it down. But because this movie is just sheerly entertaining at the heart of it, I'm going to give it a 60%. There you guys have it. That is my review of Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. Let me know if you plan on seeing this movie in the comments below because when I saw this with my brother and a friend, we were the only three people in the theater. So I'm hoping this movie picks up some steam and most theaters are a little bit more full than that because I do think this movie deserves to make a little bit of money. Thank you guys so much for listening. As always, follow me on Twitter at Neat Movie News, and we will see you back here next time.